The National Union of Namibian Workers earlier today organized a countrywide demonstration denouncing government's decision to liquidate the national airline Air Namibia. Over 300 demonstrators, representatives from workers' unions, along with Air Namibia employees and their families, marched to the Swapo head office in Vintuk to deliver their petition. Uh, NBC reporter Emil Sabep is still at the scene and joins us for an update. Very good afternoon to you, Emil, and thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, good afternoon, Jonas. Yes, Emil, uh, what's, rightfully, yes, what's the latest rightfully. with regards to the demonstrations? As you rightfully said, this morning the NUNW, together with its affiliate unions, um, started with a demonstration from the NUNW head office to the Sobo Party head office um, with a petition addressed to the Sobo Party Secretary General, Sofia Shaningwa. Um, Although they got there um, before 11, um, the, the Secretary General said she was only invited to be there at 11 o'clock to receive the petition because the union was threatening should um, the, the SG not show up, uh, they are going to escalate and then move uh, on to Parliament. But the Power Party Secretary, uh, however, received the, parliament, uh, the, the petition, um, she said, um, she appreciates she, uh, she appreciate and sympathizes with the Air Namibia employees, with the nation, with the union, and she will definitely ensure that the message gets to the relevant authorities within the party structure. That's what she said. Now, at the, the, the Sobo Party headquarters, um, we saw the Sobo Party Youth League um, regional secretary um, also attending and sympathizing with the protesters. A former minister of of, of the former Deputy Minister of Finance, Nasangu Itete, was also there um, showing his support um, and suggesting that there are alternatives. Uh, it's a video clip that I would want you to play here so we can just hear what the former Deputy Minister had to say. We want to see people burning. We do not want to see suffering in this country. We want an alternative to the current problem that is there. There is a challenge, and this challenge we cannot just ignore. Let's help an alternative. Now, uh, Jonas, as you can rightfully hear, uh, the minister's sentiments are not alone here. A lot of people. Um, say the sentiment or feel, share the sentiment that the minister, that the former deputy minister um, is echoing. Um, there are alternatives. Now, as the union is now moving forward to uh, Zoo Park, where they are expected to meet um, the Prime Minister, Right Honorable Sara Gongwela, to give the second petition, as she is the head of uh, government um, in, the, in parliament, um, when we got to Zoo Park, however, Tukna and the NCCU, which is the Namibia Cabin Crew Union, were already at the Zoo Park. They had refused to be part of the, of the march that was organized by NUNW, citing they don't want to be affiliated uh, politically because this cause, um, this cause is a genuine cause. Those were uh, the chants. So they took a different route and arrived at Zoo Park. When we got at Zoo Park, um, they had a petition which was addressed to the Speaker of the National Assembly, which was then received by um, the Deputy Executive Director, Director uh, Lydia Kandetu. If you could also just play that, um, Jonas. I want to thank you that you have brought this petition on behalf of the Speaker of National Assembly, the Deputy Speaker, and um, all the members of Parliament. Um, I would like you know, to tell you that you, know, you have done the right thing. Because Parliament is the house of um, the people, and the people are you. So when you have problems, you have to bring the problems to the house. So you did the right thing. I'm going, you know, to forward this, you know, to the speaker. So thank you so much. Uh, Emil, perhaps one question that many people are asking right now is uh, why the union chose to first go to the Swapo head office instead of parliament or, or the, the office of the prime minister, for example? Why did they choose the, the Swapo head office? I mean, Jonas, that one I cannot answer on behalf of the union. But um, there were reports over the week that the Swapo party head office, I mean, the ministers that took this decision, 
are there on the, on the ticket of the party. And one would assume that the party has a certain degree of, of influence uh, in, the, in the, the decision making because they are there on the ticket of, of the party. So I cannot uh, conclusively say why they chose to go to the Sober Party head office. Um, that's, a, that's a question that I will have to interrogate. Right now at the scene, mm -hmm. the Prime Minister was expected to arrive at 1 o'clock. I just heard the union um, uh, the, uh, representative, representative of the NUNW saying, should the Prime Minister not be here within the next 30 minutes, um, they will then be forced to march to the office of the Prime Minister uh, to, to, give her, to give her the petition. They don't want to, 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 to give it to a representative. They don't want it to, to give it to another government official. They want to hand over the petition to the, the prime minister herself. And I can, I can was almost certain to say that both these petitions um, pertain. I've seen the, the, the one addressed to the prime minister pertain um, similarities or have similarities. Um, the workers or, or the, the demonstrators are calling for the immediate resignation of um, the Minister Leon, uh, Leon Joester, mm -hmm. and they want government to, to revisit, reconsider, and just to, to stop the liquidation of, of Air Namibia. All right, Emil, thank you so much for that update. That was our reporter, Emil Sabip, who's currently at the, the Zoo Park, where the National Union of Namibian Workers uh, organized a countrywide uh, demonstration, also saying that.